Bon, euh, bonjour, merci. Hello, thanks for being here. You are the general director of the foundation Harpu Hello. Can you explain to us what this foundation is all about? How was it created? When and for which purpose? Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you very much. It is extremely important uh, in the times of the pandemic uh, to um, summarize uh, the experience that we have had in our association. Uh, the founder of uh, this association is uh, a Mexican entrepreneur, and uh, 15 years ago he realized uh, the problems of public health that existed in my country. So he created a mechanism whereby sports and physical well-being are transversal. So they all belong to health, uh, social well-being, economy, and also public health, and also the protection of the environment. So this uh, uh, foundation is uh, based on a series of guidelines that have already been uh, commented in this uh, forum. So, in other words, uh, we uh, respond to the SDGs and uh, the World Program of Physical Activation by the World Health Organization so that uh, uh, these diseases such as uh, obesity, diabetes, hypertension, cardiopathies, and certain types of cancers can be prevented through sports and uh, physical fitness, especially by recognizing the human right to, to accessing sport and physical activity. We know that one of the consequences of the pandemic is not just a physical problem, but emotional problems. We're calculating that there is a huge um, increase in uh, body weight uh, from five to seven kilograms per person. So it is fundamental to reactivate uh, physical activity and uh, sports, especially where our foundation is promoting participation of girls and boys, teenagers, because we know that internationally speaking is that 58% of uh, younger people do not carry out any kind of sports activity. So only 10 um, days ago, the world reached 8 billion inhabitants. So we are considering more, more than half of uh, the world's uh, population do not carry out any kind of physical activity. So Mexico is a country that is facing this kind of a problem. So this is our way of dealing with it. Well, above all, we have invested in human capital. So as an entrepreneur, the idea is to be transversal. So all the different entrepreneurs, when they bring their money, what they want is transparency. They want uh, efficiency, efficacy. They want their resources to be devoted uh, to an element uh, that will uh, uh, somehow reach the goals they have in mind. So we have created a very important alliance uh, with other organizations, for example, the government of Mexico, with the um, government of the federal district in Mexico, with the uh, Mexican Federation of Football, with the uh, Mexican Olympic Movement. So, and so all the different Olympic athletes, uh, uh, the Olympian Association, because they have a fundamental role in all of this. And it is these alliances that have made it possible through the National Public Health Institute, uh, and we have the evidence of the good results that we have achieved. So if you cannot measure something, it means it doesn't exist. Now, the measurements we have carried out in order to promote all this is fundamental. And thanks to them, we have seen our success. Thank you. Can you talk about the way you work with your athletes? Obviously, yes, of course, uh, there is a program which is called uh, the um, Sports uh, Greenlight. We have a chromatic uh, uh, code, like when you are uh, driving your car. 
So red is stopping addiction, so we are preventing addiction to legal or illegal drugs. And uh, the yellow means that you are generating a culture of uh, self-care. And the green means uh, let's go ahead with the protection of ourselves and the environment. So here we have uh, elected ambassadors, both uh, ladies and gentlemen. And also we have uh, um, Olympic athletes of both sexes and, uh, for example, champions in boxing and different other disciplines. So they are part of uh, the dissemination of these kind of activities. So the Olympic athletes in Mexico are part of the scenario. They go to schools, they go to uh, plants, they go to communities. and. Uh, so the pandemic has left us with something which is extremely important. We need to anticipate problems in order to change our strategies and to make the four steps of public administration. So diagnosis, planning, execution, and a follow-up of all our programs. So once again, this is how we can reach important results. This is how we're doing it. Your work is very inspiring. It's important to have concrete examples from the grassroots measures. Thank you and congratulations for your work. You also were a silver medalist in uh, wrestling. Now we will welcome, alongside Noemi, three people who are going to discuss with her, the president of uh, French Sport Foundation, Thierry Braillard, general director of Niedeker Group, Henry Niedeker, 